What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Gamecock News update. And today, we are specifically talking quarterbacks. Breakdown, Marcus Statterfield had a breakdown of all three quarterbacks. We're going to talk about it in our search for the starting quarterback for the 2021 uh, SE Gamecocks. South Carolina Gamecocks. I don't know why I said SC. It doesn't really sound right. But before I go any further, man, if you like the video, please hit the video with the subscribe button. Also, notification bell. Notification bell allow you to know that every time I drop a video. So let's get into this. Man. So spring practice is here. Uh, the quarterbacks is a hot topic position that's been talked about uh, just recently. I've been covering the quarterbacks, man, for the past uh, month. And it looks like Luke Doty is the front runner. But, man, there's two other quarterbacks that are on the roster. And they could eventually get some shine. And Marcus Statterfield, which is the new OC office coordinator, uh, talks and breaks down all three quarterbacks. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to come back and, and kind of give you some discussion about that. So let's go to 247sports.com for the latest update. As I click on this, as you can see right here, Let's go. Let's roll back up to the beginning, guys. This is this is what uh, uh, everything Marcus Statterfield said about the quarterbacks. We're not going to read all the article. We're going to read some of it for context, and I'm going to come back and break it down. It says the South Carolina football team adjusted its practice schedule and have only been on the field three times at this point, with just one of these practices being for pads. Offense coordinator Marcus Satterfield has limited time on the field with his players, but has enjoyed extensive time getting work getting to work with his quarterbacks and walkthroughs and meetings. He got to know the quarterbacks and seen them put in some work on the field and in meeting rooms while the game cuts on the first year head coach Shane Beamer has little experience on the field at that position. Satterfield says he's happy with what his quarterbacks are at this point. So let's go down a little bit further. And this is what he said about Luke Doty. He said he's a natural passer coming from the NFL that the one thing you look for in a draft is you look for a big brain and natural passer. He got a big brain. I knew he was an above the line passer. I don't know what it means, but I didn't know how natural he was. I'm very excited to continue to work on his fundamentals and creating the best him that we possibly can. I'm really excited about how he can throw the ball right now. Obviously, he's athletic and can run and can make the plays with his legs. It's really good to put him in situations where he can use his arm. And I've been really pleased with him. So let's break that down real quick um, before we go on to the next quarterback. Um, So with Luke Doty, like I said, a lot of people are very interested in him because he's athletic. And when you have a quarterback that's athletic, a lot of times you, you may feel like, oh, man, we, we have something here. And the disadvantage is, we only had three practices, one with four pads. So a lot of things that you're seeing, you're seeing like almost like I look at the combine, the NFL combine, right? When you're playing in the combine, a lot of times you just have shorts and shirts and you can look amazing. You can look amazing, 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 amazing. When we get out there in real competition, a lot of those guys that do really well at the combine very rarely have very successful NFL careers because they you can train for a combine. You can train to look good, but the product doesn't match up when you're on the field. So with um, with Luke Doty, he is athletic. Last year, I did not – I saw that he can make – some throws, but I necessarily see a lot of throws that had me convinced, like, oh, man, this man going to be it. You know what I'm saying? Like, he may have the arm. He may have the brain. But can he put all those things together in 2021? Only time will tell. So, let's keep going. Man. So, we going to – so, read about Luke Doty, man. So, the next quarterback we're going to read about is Colton Gaither. All right? Colton Gaither. So, here's what he said about Colton. Colton didn't surprise me. But it's shocking how much offense we have in right now and how he he should be a C in high school has been able to learn it and execute it. Everything from the pre-snap stuff, pre-snap running game, pre-snap mic points, projections, protections, adjustments. We threw a, a ton at the kid, and he's done a really, really nice job. His size, he's put on some weight, and he's almost 220. Good guy. You can feel his presence out there. He has an elite arm talent, and I'm really excited where his game is going. So, 
this right here, young man right here, is mostly a wild card because of the simple fact that he, like you said, he enrolled early. He's supposed to be a senior right now, but he's learning the offense. So, will he be a player? I mean, it's possible. Uh, I know a lot of people said that Colton Gaither, nobody's talking about him. It's possible that he could overtake uh, Lou Doty and, and really be a surprise pick. My uh, just thinking and knowledge, I think it's Luke Doty. Like I said, I'm saying this. I think it's Luke Doty's job to lose. And I think that Jason Brown can come in, right? But don't sleep on Colton either because Colton uh, has the ability. He's going to get the opportunity. And it, he will only tell – not he will only tell, excuse me. He is the one – that can really tell himself whether or not uh, he's going to take on the opportunity by being ready. And that didn't make sense to me in my head. I hope it makes sense to you. <laughs> but he will have the opportunity. He's got to be ready for it. Uh, a saying that I always say, I'd rather be ready for opportunity and not have one than have an opportunity and not be ready for it. So let's go down and let's continue on for other people. I got one more breakdown to do. And this is Jason Brown. Jason Brown, that's what he says. JB has been in college, so we expect him to have a certain amount of maturity about him, and he's shown that. He's worked really, really hard. He comes from more of a true spread type of an offense to more of a pro-style scheme now. He's adapting to what we're doing, but he made some really good throws and flashes. I'm really pleased with his direction. So, again, with that, I mean, basically, he says the guy's mature. Uh, the guys actually learning a different uh, style of offense. If you caught that, he said that we are running a more pro-style offense. So that's why we're trying to get pro-style quarterbacks to fit the pro-style scheme. I thought we was going to spread it out a little bit more. Um, it's, I mean, we, we, we can definitely run a, a pro-style offense. Um, but with the pro-style offense, you got to have a quarterback that can throw. You know what I'm saying? And you utilize more of his uh, arm strength than his leg strength. So with that, I think that Jason Brown will get his opportunity. But, again, like like Colton uh, Gaither and Jason Brown, they will determine whether or not they capitalize on the opportunity. That's what I was trying to say earlier, capitalize on the opportunity. It's just going to take some time, man. I I, I am excited, but it is uh, very daunting to say that we only had three practices and only one with full pass. So we won't we don't really know how the quarterbacks even look and Mark and Marcus Ladder, uh Statterfield don't really know how they look, how they gel with a defense, you know what I'm saying, just really rushing them. You know what I'm saying? So the spring game is gonna tell us a lot about what these quarterbacks are gonna do. And if somebody like Gaither, somebody like Jason is going to overtake Luke, they are going to have to show that they can perform under pressure. And Luke is going to have to show that he can actually grow from last year. Last year wasn't bad at all. He showed flashes, and it was exciting. But at the same time, it just seemed like a deer in the headlights a lot of times. He'll, he'll take the snap, and the first thing that he's looking to do is run. And in the SEC, you cannot do that, okay, because defensive linemen are quick, and they will catch up to you. you got to be an extreme talent in order to just take the ball and run. And a lot of great quarterbacks that do run, they have a – threat of an arm game as well and so the defense kind of sit on their heels because they don't know exactly if they're going to pass for the ball or kill them with their feet and I think that if Luke Doty can develop that mentality like oh I can I dump it down the field you know what I'm saying I can drop these dimes or I can hit you with a 20 yard run the defense will respect them a lot more so here's what I need you to do people let me know exactly what you think about the comment section below uh man uh are you excited about this uh this competition because Game Caught Nation, man, we've been talking about the competition. I think that the spring game is going to show us exactly uh, what's going to happen. But, again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Mary back with another Game Caught News update. And, yes, it is uh, almost here. Next month at the spring game, and then we're going to summer workouts, and then the fall, football season is right around the corner. Not quite. But it's close. Let me know what you think about the comment section below. But uh, until next time, people.